What is going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube Members Prodigy, and welcome to our video on the channel. Today, guys, we are going to be covering more of the Kingdom Hearts Recoded Ultimania. This is the final video, the final section of the Recoded Ultimania. I have taken a longer time with this Ultimania than I have with others, for sure. Not as long as Earth by Sleeps, though. I took a pretty long while to get through that. But it's been fun. After this, will be heading into Dream Drop Distance and Dream Drop Distance will be the last Ultimania we'll be covering as far as the main Nomura interviews go. I will likely go back and see what I can find and look at other interviews because there are other interviews in the Ultimanias with other developers, producers, etc. So if you guys are interested in that then I'll go ahead and do that but we'll get to that when we get to it. But let's see what series director Tetsuo Nomura has to say about Recoded, and let's just dive right in. Throughout playing, the line's restoration rate percent appears a few times. When it reaches 100%, Sora's Heartless begins to run amok. Does that number represent the growth condition of Sora's Heartless? In Kingdom Hearts 2, Sora's memory restoration rate was expressed that way. In this case, it's basically showing how much of the data world was restored thanks to Sora. However, it's also like an indicator of Sora's Heartless growth since it grew at the same time as Sora exterminated the bugs. After debugging Traverse Town, the king says to Sora, that day your travels began here. Also, on that day, I was here too. Does that mean that the king was in the the same place at the same time as Sora adventured into Traverse Town in Kingdom Hearts 1? Seems so. What he was actually doing becomes the previously mentioned blank time period, but in this title it's implying that the two cross paths in the same place. As for the story, the current has closed on Sora finally saying thank you to Naminé. In your Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix Ultimania interview, you mentioned that Sora not having yet thanked Naminé was foreshadowing the future. Is that matter considered settled now? Although it can't really be said that it's completely settled since they haven't exchanged words in the real world world, there is naturally that implication. This time it's the data of Sora from a four chain of memories saying thanks. However, it shows there was a special connection beyond the passage of time between Sora and Naminé. Additionally, it gives a contradictory answer to the implication that data existences don't have hearts shown in the story. Okay, that last question was a lot to process. That is one of my favorite little things in the Kingdom Hearts series. Sora thanking Naminé. He's thanked her many times at this point, but but not really. It hasn't been the real Sora to thank Naminé. And not the official thank you. I just find it really cool. And the Mickey being in Traverse Town thing was something that was surprising to me at that time. It doesn't really make a super major difference in the plot or anything, but it's just something to think about. Like, oh, Mickey was in Traverse Town during Kingdom Hearts 1, same time as Sora was. They just never encountered each other necessarily. But moving along, I'm going to ask about the secret movie now. Yen said, tells, with Ansem and Xemnas defeated, it means Master Xehanort will be revived. When Yen said explained about Organization 13 in Kingdom Hearts 2, did he know this at that point in time? He knew, but it couldn't be avoided. At that time, Xemnas existed as the main threat, so nothing could be done until he was defeated. If you release the heart of the Heartless and annihilate the body of the Nobody, then the real form will be revived. If those conditions are met, can others outside of Xehanort be revived too? It can be considered a possibility, although it's what if speaking. I think that if the members of Organization 13 were restored, they would become their true form. Though he's a member of Organization 13, Axel is shown in the end of Recoded in the memories of Pain. Since healing the necessary pain of Axel's is different than with other people, if he is revived, he will take a form like Xehanort's. In the end of the story, Naminé says those whose memories are sleeping inside Sora need relief. In the Birth by Sleep secret cutscene of Blank Points, certain characters call out to Sora. However, in that scene, Axel is the only one who appears and doesn't say Sora's name out loud. Really? That's... Very interesting, okay. Also, it's funny that he didn't want to reveal the Dream Drop Distance thing. That's basically what the second question was there. That's literally the start of Dream Drop Distance. 
you seeing like a lot of the nobodies, you know, come back into their true selves. That's something that happened to start a lot of Dream Drop distance, actually. But I don't quite know how far uh, Dream Drop was planned at this point. I'd assume it was, but it's hard to tell. I mean, this game didn't come out too much earlier than Dream Drop did. I always found it so cool how they teased Master Xehanort's return so much before like Dream Drop distance. Birthright Sleep showing you like the true form of Zayn or where all of this started, how that apprentice ended up being an apprentice, becoming Xemnas, etc, etc. And I remember seeing that scene at the end of Dream Drop Distance and I was just so excited. I was beyond excited. Definitely one of the most memorable moments for me playing Kingdom Hearts and they built up to it very nicely. But moving on to the last two questions, only two more. Speaking of the birth by sleep secret cutscene, Ansem the Wise says that he hid his research results in Sora. This complies with what happens in Recoded. When Nomine says Diz, Ansem the Wise, has hid something inside Sora. Is that mystery remaining unsolved? Yes. Nomine added data to the Gemini Journal in order to convey that the pain of those connected to Sora must be healed. But at the point in time Ansem hid the research results inside Sora, he didn't know that. Accordingly, Ansem's research results will become the key to healing the pain and the future of the story. So even though Nomine and Ansem acted independently as a result of what the two did, it leads to one thing. And speaking of those details, since that will likely become the story for Kingdom Hearts 3, please look forward to that until then. I like how Nomine remains like a major focus for Recoded. She's a character a lot of people wish they saw a little bit more of in Kingdom Hearts 3. I definitely wish I saw more of her in Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm glad we got to see more of her in Remind, but I'm very confident she's going to be in a role in the future of the series because they really do like to put Nomine in some important roles, especially when it's in regards to Sora or other nobody-like characters. So I'm looking forward heavily to her involvement in the next saga. Same thing with Ansem the Wise as well. I really wonder what they're going to do with him because his character has changed quite a lot and he's had quite the uh, character arc from Kingdom Hearts 1 or Chain of Memories onwards. Being Diz to Ansem the Wise to having this whole redemption arc, atonement, him and his apprentices after everything they did with the organization and all of that. It was really cool to see. That was one of the story arcs in KH3 that really did resonate with me. But that's it everyone for the Kingdom Hearts Recoded Ultimania. Even when we finish the Ultimania series, it doesn't mean I'm going to just stop doing like these old Nomura interviews. I don't know if there will be anything as interesting or as crazy as the Ultimanias, but there's plenty of interviews out there, like hundreds. Probably not all of them are translated unfortunately, but we'll figure something out. But there's a lot out there even outside of the Ultimanias that reveals some pretty cool information that I will definitely be uh, trying to show you guys just throughout the channel's lifetime in general. However though, if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a like, share the video with a friend or family member. If you missed the past Ultimania videos, please click on the playlist at the end of this video so you can go back and watch all of it in full. Same thing with the other Ultimanias as well. Um, we've done Kingdom Hearts 1, Chain of Memories, 2, Days, Birth by Sleep, Recoded, most of Kingdom Hearts 3s, and now we're about to move on to Dream Drop Distance, which will be uh, likely one of the final ones. But on top of that, and last but not least, you have not already, and want to become a part of the Union, all you have to do is hit that red subscribe button down below. My name is Prodigy, and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out, you guys. Bye. Now she's a daydreamer.